Hi guys, this is Vijay, your host. So today we are going to talk about that uh, attacking the LDAP server. And uh, our environment is here is we have one Linux uh, uh, server installed in the same network and we have one vulnerable applications and where we are going to perform the LDAP injection and retrieve the administrator SSS credential and try to get that uh, machine access from the uh, attacker machines. So Kali Linux server is our attacker. And we have the same network which are available here. And we will try to extract that information, especially the SSS information about the LDAP. So I have this lab. OK, in this particular lab, what we are going to first discuss here is so so our instruction is to uh, browse that uh, access the browser on the port number 9090 which i will uh, show that how we're gonna do that then what tools we are going to use we are going to use nmap ssh as uh, or and a uh, web browser and we are going to perform total uh, about seven to eight steps to uh, conclude this particular uh, uh, lab so first six we will Try to access the uh, uh, graphical interface of the Kali Linux. From the Kali Linux, we will try to reach that. Uh, we'll, we'll try to reach that one uh, web server which is sitting within the network, and then we will uh, run the and we will run the and map for this particular uh, domain. Uh, based on the and map, we will try to run that port. Which particular ports are open on these particular sites? And once we have the details of the ports, then we will try to log in this site using that particular port. Then we will try to start the, we will explore that uh, web, uh, applications and we will try to attack that application, try to gain that information about the LDAP. So I have this lab, so which is already up and running. So if I go to terminal here, the first step is, I will try to ping the ping the domain. I will say encounter to demo dot ini dot local. This is pre uh, predetermined attack which I'm planning to because here uh, we already know that uh, demo dot ini dot local. Suppose this can be look for example Google dot com. Okay, this can be your local company website for example x y z dot com. And suppose if you are launching any application in your production environment, that can be used as an example in your production environment or for your lab environment. So I will try to ping. So I already have the uh, details of the site. I am able to reach that these particular sites. And first, second thing is I will check that which particular ports are open for this particular site. Okay. So what I will do here is and map minus pp demo dot tiny dot local so it will extract out all, all the information if you see here i it says that uh, the port state is uh, ssh as well as as an admin is using the tcp so first thing and uh, this is the ip address of this so what i will do here is i will uh, i will do I will access this particular site using this local port. So what I will do here is I will open my web browser. Then I will get that. I will explore the web applications, what exactly is running in that. So this is the demo dot ini dot local colon 1990. Okay. Once we have that information, it says that they, this is the LDAP applications which is running in my infrastructure. Okay. Then I will say that stock control. So with the stock control information, it says that this particular site has the it is known that admin is stored as a such key for the in the database. So this particular site has the information about the SSH keys of the uh, users. Okay. So if I go here stock control if i go take there are two categories in the stock uh, categories one is the fruit one is the which this is just for lab so i will go for the weight fruit then i will go for if you see here it says that 
This particular uh, information has been stored in object class. Okay. Once you have the object class, what I will do here is I will try to ex exploit, I will start the exploiting the LDAP injection. Okay, so instead of using the fruit, I will use the star. And I will run this. If you see here, one information we have already rewrite it here uh -oh, from the subject class. Okay, then I will go to the more information here. You will see that one DBD user, which is acting as administrator, I will go more and I will give that all this information. Then I will go back. Then what I will do here is I will extract that SSF password for user David. Okay, this is my target user. Because we, it has the administration uh, control of the network. Okay, so if you see here what LDAP schema, what LDAP schema we use for usually, so you can directly access for the LDAP schema. Okay, so you just you can just find in the Google LDAP schema. You will see that if you see here. If you see here, proxy account, if I go here, it says that you have your object class is your POSIX account. If I say POSIX account, what is the attributes we have here? Then based on the attributes, we will try to inject that information. Okay, so if I show you that, this is the, it says that UID number, then GID number then home directory. These are the three attributes which LDAP use for any users, any users, okay? This is machine account. What I will do here is I will try to extract that information. I will try to extract that particular information from the object class which has the, which has a, stored the information about the David SSH key. Okay. So what where we can get that LDAP SSH key and how we can inject that. So if you here you can just Google in the Google, just you can type here LDAP LDAP account SSH keys. This is the one you can directly check that information with of the SSH public key of the uh, as such public attribute, key attribute for the LDAP, okay? Once you have that information, what you're gonna do here is, I will rewrite the site, okay? Then I will, after David, if I go to the David account, David account, then I will write that information saying that, show me the UID number, then GID number, then home directory, then user password, then SSH public key. Public key. Why I have uh, written this all the course? The reason is, in order to get that as such key, you need to specify the attribute of the account. Then you have to specify the information of the a public key, as such public key. The moment you will, if you, your attribute is not right, I'm calling, the, I'm asking this particular website or LDAP website or database, show me the public key of the particular one user. And the moment I will run this particular attribute, this is how it will react in, within the uh, your LDAP database. So the moment I would enter it, here you go. If you say here, this is the uh, UID of the uh, David user. This is the David user. This is the home directory. This is the GID. This is the SSH key. This is the SSH key I have of this particular user. 
Now, if I go to the uh, my machine and try to do the SSH, okay, try to use the SSH, SSH, David at the rate demo dot I need dot local. If I say yes, if I try to use the same public key, here we go. If I do ls, this is how it shows that. If I say cat, that, this is the uh, LDAP flag which we have for this particular use. So this is how you gain that. This is how you exploit the, your LDAP uh, account, how you attract the LDAP uh, through the web interface, through the vulnerable web interface. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in next session.